In this presentation, we will take a look at Futa and Suta tax calculations within QuickBooks. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Here we are on the home page. We currently have the open windows open. In order to open the open windows, you go to the view drop down and select the open windows list. We're going to start off by going to the payroll items list by going to the lists drop down and selecting the payroll items list. Within the payroll items list, this is where we would set up all the kind of items that are going to run the calculation of the payroll taxes, including the calculations for federal unemployment here and state unemployment here. Now, we, call, we typically call them Federal Unemployment Tax Act or FUTA for short. It's going to be called Federal Unemployment typically for QuickBooks. We do have the abbreviation here FUTA for the tax tracking. This one will be a federal tax again, and therefore it's a less known federal tax because uh, it's a smaller tax and it doesn't come out of the actual paycheck, but it is still a standardized federal tax, and therefore it will be something that QuickBooks can set up pretty easily through the, inter through the interview payroll process, which can be done through the employees drop down and the payroll setup when we first set up the payroll. It is a little bit more confusing because note that FUTA does tie into the SUTA tax, the states. So we have to have the SUTA tax in place in order for FUTA to be calculated as you would think it would be because it is dependent on the state calculation in some way. But most states uh, meet the requirements so that FUTA will be fairly standardized in all states. So it's a bit confusing, but uh, it should be fairly easy to set up now. The California then, we're not talking too much about the California taxes here, although we will have an example with, with the California tax, but we're not talking too much about state taxes within this discussion of federal taxes because the states will vary from state to state. But just note with regard to the state unemployment that every state pretty much has one because it's tied to the federal tax in some way. So we kind of have to talk about it a little bit uh, for that reason. And so the California unemployment, this is California for an example, will be here. If we look at these, note that we have the federal tax, we've got the rate, and again this rate will be dependent on the rate that will actually be calculated will be dependent on the state tax. We've got the low cap of 7,000 and we've got, um, and that's going to be the information here, we also have on SUTA a similar calculation for this particular state for California. Uh, we have the uh, rate and then that's 7,000, that low cap. So let's take a look at some paychecks for an example. This is another area where it's really nice to have the QuickBooks system to help us calculate it, not because the rate is difficult, because it is a flat tax to some degree, but because this cap makes it a little bit confusing. So let's take a look at an example of that. If we go into banking up top and use register, and we go into our checking account, We've only got our two employees and this is all payroll. So we only had one employee that we had through this. This is all payroll for Anthony through the entire year of 2018. And we're going to take a look at this problem later. So if we go into this first paycheck then for Anthony and check the paycheck detail, we'll note that we have the calculation for on this side for federal unemployment and going down to state unemployment. Now note that they're not over here. They're not on the right side because they're not coming out of the payroll check. So note that it's not a calculation for net pay as it's being calculated within QuickBooks as it should be. It's on this side, which means it's going to be paid over and above. It's being paid by the employer, not the employee. And we have the, the 2438 and the 138. They're fairly low with regard to taxes in general. Most of the other taxes are going to be at a higher rate than the federal unemployment at least. The calculation is straightforward as well. If we take the gross pay 4025 plus the 37.5 times 0 0.006. It's 0.6% or 0 0.006. And we say, okay, that's the 2438 so note that that's not too difficult to calculate. We might say, why do I need to pay QuickBooks to calculate that? That's easy to do. And it is on, on the first paycheck. But again, if we have multiple employees, then it becomes a little bit more cumbersome. And when we hit this cap, as we'll see if I close this back out and close this back out 
and we go to say the this paycheck what is that the fourth paycheck and check it out then we'll note that the calculations for suta and futa are have gone down to zero they're gone why because they hit that cap they've already hit the cap and therefore this is an area that it's really nice to have the software to be able to say hey you hit the cap we're not going to calculate it and not make that that error that easy error to make which is to keep on paying the futa and suta even though the employee had hit the cap because you just don't see it on any individual paycheck you have to look at the year-to-date paycheck to know that they hit the cap so we'll talk more about that as we process through a longer payroll but just be aware that's one of the nice things to have a payroll system to be able to catch that note also that if you go through payroll if we close this out and we and we enter payroll through the rest of this whole time period for that one employee they're never going to pay suta and futa again and it'll look funny when the new year starts because then we'll have to pay it again because they'll be below the cap for the new year so if you go into payroll at the end of the year or any time in the year and then you and then it flips over to january you may see some things you will see some things that will differ greatly especially with regard to suta and futa because they're going to start over again now also note if you get another employee as we did here judy jones just this she's a new employee now at the end of the year if we if we check on her paycheck at this first paycheck then boom she's hitting futa and suta on way out here at the end of the year which again if you're processing payroll and you're kind of new to the system then you're probably saying hey i've never even seen a futa and suta tax yet what is going on here because they've all hit the cap at the beginning although this is a high earner she's a new employee as of this point in time therefore hasn't hit the cap and is paying all of the futa and suta at this point in time so the the cap is is the big thing that quickbooks can really take care of and help us out with these taxes as well as the relationship between the state tax and the federal tax within the quickbooks system for more accounting information and accounting courses visit our website at accountinginstruction.info